Hey guys, welcome to YouTube. This is React Packs. <laughs> I'm Mark. I'm Rose. I'm Minky. And this is Marvel What If Episode 7. So, last time we had the battles going on between Killmonger and the Wakandans. Well, rather, Killmonger with the Wakandans against Tony Stark's robots. Yeah. We had a whole lot of, whole lot of intrigue and backdoor stabbing and all that. Yeah. So... Yeah, it's these have been showing a lot of dark side of like villains doing stuff, mm -hmm. and I'm wondering if now we're gonna go back to, and now I'm gonna be wondering if we're gonna go back to maybe the good guy side, see what if on that side. Guys, thank you guys very much for being here. Guys, if you like your time here, please remember to like, subscribe if you want to see more, and check out the Patreon if you guys want to help us out or see an episode ahead of any other shows that we watch. Thank you guys for being here. See you in discussion. Because if my data is corrected, believe in alien invasion. What? Why would Shield hang up about that? She sounds a little too calm about that. <laughs> oh, is this when Lo um, Loki went to the theater? No? I guess he didn't get the humbling? Okay, good. never mind. Okay. Okay. Thank you for study. Read up on the nine realms that you will one day rule. Of course, mother. No parties. Of course, mother. Remember, Heimdall will be watching. He's always watching. Wait, what? Oh, you can't be serious. Okay. I was wondering why they never went to Midgard more. Yeah. <laughs> the party prince is literally the party prince. Wait, there's aliens there. <laughs> That guy. Look at the scroll. Yeah, have a drink. That never runs out. You try to drink it all, but you can't because it's magic. Because it's magic. Oh, is, is, are they like beaming people up and yeah. down, or are these new people? How do, how can you tell that? Technology. Oh no. <laughs> That's the guy from <laughs> uh, <laughs> Trash Planet. <laughs> Collect Alpha Star Icarus died. The astronaut anomaly that preceded it happened again tonight. Hey, Thunderbolt, what I'm asking is, was that you? Yes, Alpha Star. Now that he blew it up. Such a thing. You must be a genius. You are a genius, aren't you? <laughs> well, I don't know about genius, but... And your eyes. <laughs> Do all geniuses have such deep, dark eyes? Really? Is this Watch happening? Oh my goodness. <laughs> Someone needs to stop Howard. What is happening? Oh my gosh, I can't believe this. I get a feeling he's more of a player though than... Yeah, yeah. I know, but... <laughs> The foam. Oh my goodness. The the heck? They got tattoos. <laughs> Is that um, crossbones? Shield is here. <laughs> Oh no. Hey, this might be your party, but this isn't your planet. Before someone gets hurt, I need all the get Uh oh. Oh! Oh. You okay? He's still on the couch. Okay, he's okay. He's a zoologist. I'll call you, okay? No. Helicarrier. Director, the party atmosphere seems to be spreading. Party atmosphere? What? Pennsylvania Dutch country, led by the main instigator, Thor of Asgard. What? He's now taken to the skies. The last resort has arrived. Whoa, whoa, last resort sounds very vital. This is Earth's first encounter with alien life. Yeah. How we respond today will set the tone for diplomatic relations between our worlds for generations. This isn't S.H.I.E.L.D.'s first alien rodeo. Oh. oh really? Sir, my oh. dad has one. He's a podiatrist. Wait. 
You call him Marvel? Marvel? I mean, at it's done. She should be able to take Thor at this point. Yeah. Hey, it's the yellow people. How's the gold people? Oh, it's Loki! What did you say? Tell me, that fat, ugly popsicle stick talking to me? He actually grew into himself. Very nice, Loki. Oh, it's Marvel. Friends! Oh, Why does he say friends? He actually wants to know what he says. Uh, I got it. What is it? Tell me, tell me, tell me. I couldn't possibly tell you. Really <laughs> oh. <laughs> oh, what? Who's this? It's Captain Marvel. Oh, it's Marvel. I forgot about it. That's hey, what they call White Snake. We need to chat. The name is Thor. The T and an R and an O and an H. Not in that order. <laughs> yes. Party's over, pal. Mm. Yeah, maybe here's a thought. Uh, how about you just buzz off? Uh. <laughs> Whoa. All right. Well, we'll fight. It's Pretty yours. antagonistic way to go about it, guys. You know, there's a Midgardian word for women like you. Party pooper. There, I said it. <laughs> Man. Hey, what did I tell you? Knock it off. It's what? Knocked it to the United Kingdom. <laughs> the Stonehenge. He knocked it to Kingdom Come. Uh oh. Uh oh. Nice. Uh, oh. No. Uh, Oh no. Oh, hey, Rich Stonehenge. Quit it. These are. I don't know what these are. No one does. But. No, no, no. I said no. They're <laughs> <laughs> not coming back to France. No, no America. they're going to America. America now. None of them seem to be able to really do permanent damage so far. It's taking a while. Yeah. They're not even hurting each other. No. Oh, like energy doesn't do anything. Not the hair. How about you? Out into space? Or into another country. Just, probably just cross the planet. Thunder and lightning, you know. Don't mind the colorful colors, guys. It's yeah. fine. <laughs> Are they uh, back? back? Hey, look, everyone! A party pooper! Uh, bullying! Uh, How could you? Is she actually, did she actually stop? You were the best! <laughs> If I exert my full power, I'd blow a crater in this planet. Taking down Kappa Kappa Frat Freak won't be worth any <laughs> Hello, fella. Hey! Hey! Where can I see you again? You're the nicest, prettiest Midgardian woman I've ever actually caught. How did you get many Earth women? Where do you get a phone? Uh, shoot. About the other one. Or, what is that? <laughs> <laughs> I had the last party on Alpha Star. Did you really destroy that planet? No, no. It was, it was more of a meteor anyway, not a planet. It was burning apart, so we just gotta help it along. And... <laughs> I gotta go. Love you. Oh. I mean, bye. Uh, uh, what were we awkward. The Mojave Desert couldn't withstand the hit. Lauren decided she actually to wants. Fast. <laughs> You're not serious. We're not gonna kaboom it. We're talking about the fate of the planet. He's a lughead, sure, and, and far from the brightest crayon in the box. But this this planet is way over the top, and I thank you for gotta agree. recognizing thank that. You for your expertise. Yeah, I don't think you have much but pull here, though. Is no longer required. <laughs> Yeah, let's just casually uh, kill the prince of a entire realm. A realm full of warriors is way stronger than this. 
Yeah, I've got a friend. I mean, you know, we get double dates. Ah, well, you just put him on the phone. I was going to take him to Nick's and then Oh! <laughs> so far. <laughs> so far. Go smash right through. <laughs> that was hilarious. Party pooper. Does this here? <laughs> oh, that worked. It's not working. Because Odin's son, Odin wife. Yes. Can I help sure. you? Why do you insist on crushing my mellow? Oh, loosen up. Have fun. Smile a little. No one's explaining anything to him. Fire in five. I gave you a warning. How? I gave you a warning punch. Four. Why are they gonna... He's in trouble. <laughs> She's in trouble. Three. He's on Earth. She drank another one. Two. What about Captain Marvel? She'll be fine. One. Crown Prince of Asgard, only son of Odin, what are you doing? Mother, he is mistaken. I'm obviously in my room studying. I'm cutting my trip short. You're coming here? And, my sweet son, I expect to see your full syllabus when I arrive. Now or never, Hill. Never. Damn, we're done here. Uh, we never get to fight. <laughs> <laughs> Darn it, dude. <laughs> what are you gonna what do? You gonna... <laughs> Is he running away? <laughs> oh. Okay. Oh, that worked. <laughs> Everyone's like, it's. No, it's back. <laughs> oh, it just went in and it all falls off. Oh, well, that, 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 that was. That, was, uh, that was funny. <laughs> <laughs> Why'd she take his old. Scrubbing vigorously. Jane's in trouble now. Learning is magic. See? I told you I was on an educational and cultural exchange. I can't marvel. I think that's Jane coming. Oh no. What? I mean, you could have pulled I mean, that one off. I mean, you could have said, like, oh, somebody did something to my hammer. Look at that. Jane Foster, it would be my honor to take you on a date. Yeah, before you answer, let me say that I know a whole planet full of unicorns. The even the wages, the unicorns. <laughs> what? Pick me up at eight. Does he... Well, he probably knows how Earth time works. You look so happy! <laughs> <laughs> And then children, both human and as guardians, say together they lived happily ever after. Go back to the really? shadows. Wait, what? Oh, dear. Ultron. Perhaps I spoke too soon. With all the. Is that the Mandarin? He's got all the gauntlet stuff. Oh, it's what? Vision? Vision? It is, the, it is Ultron. What the heck? What the heck? Wait, there's gotta be a reason for There's a reason for that. Thor never joined the Avengers. Avengers. The but Mind Stone. Loki had the Mind Stone. So because Loki never swapped, they never had the Mind Stone. So maybe that accelerated? Oh, man. <laughs> Discussion. Discussion. Yeah, so... It wasn't a hero episode, necessarily. It was, no. But it was a, a more episode. upbeat, though. No, yeah, it was... This is kind of what the first episode was. And what we thought it was gonna be, whereas... Mm -hmm. Something different. Yeah. Not necessarily good, not necessarily bad, just something that could have happened. Yeah. 
Right there at the end. Yeah. yeah. What the heck? They have a chance. I s- the, nothing would have stopped the Avengers Initiative from starting. Yeah, I. That that ending kind of annoyed me because, what? like, with all the other. <coughs> Sorry. With all the other bad stuff that happened, we could see like the. Oh, this because this didn't happen. This is what would have happened. So we can see the bad, like ego, and all the other stuff. It has an explanation. Yeah, but this was just like. No, we just it's need just to throw something. It's just bad because it's bad. Yeah, we just need to throw in a, a wrench into the, the plans. It was too happy-go-lucky. I was trying to think, what would the chain of events be to make that happen? Because Ultron was created by Tony because he wanted to make, what was it, like some kind of world police, something like that? He was trying to make some kind of upgraded AI with the Maya Storm. I can't remember mm-hmm. why. Mm-hmm. And and he had fought with Banner about mm-hmm. The, the idea behind it like they didn't he didn't want to do it and he finally convinced him to right. do it with it's, him it's because Scarlet Witch had messed with his mind and gave him fear mm-hmm. and so he was afraid that something would happen right. and so he made Ultron right. but the Mind Stone was in Loki's scepter so somehow this Earth still gets the Mind Stone yeah. so Loki's got out of the picture but Earth gets the Mind Stone he makes Ultron I imagine off screen mm-hmm. so all Age of Ultron stuff probably went down but they lost because Thor wasn't there Right. Because if you remember, Thor's hammer was instrumental in stopping Thor, Ultron. Oh, I don't remember oh. that. But because, that's probably why then. Well, no, that's not right. Because Ultron wanted the hammer to drop a meteor on the Earth and reset life. And make a new life. Remember that? No. He, he put it in a church and he was using the hammer to like make that entire oh, yeah. city rise. Or quote, I remember and that. And smash it into the Earth and destroy right. the Earth. Right. Mm-hmm. So that's probably why he's going to Thor right now. Because he mm-hmm. wants to get the hammer. Which, oh. if he's here and in Vision's body, implies the Avengers already lost. Yeah. Mm-hmm. I. Hmm, why is Vision like that though? Because Ultron made Vision. All oh, right. Ultron made, made Vision. Ultron made the body of Vision and because then he totally wanted finished it. Yeah, because he wanted to inhabit the body, and make a perfect body for his perfect mind. Mm-hmm. Instead, Tony managed to make um, Jarvis go into it, and use the Mind Stone to make it sentient mm. and then vision was born mm. yeah so it was essentially an empty husk that the mind stone created a body a, a, a personality for rather mm-hmm. yeah so this time the ultron just uploads his body into yeah. it which is what he was trying to do he's uploading and they stuck they attacked a truck and stopped him yeah yeah i don't know how he got the stones but i imagine after defeating the avengers he went to that and now he's going from he was very intelligent ultron he yeah. he just had hyper intelligent yeah he just had a bit of some daddy issues with with, with, yeah, he inherited all the issues of Tony with none in the soul. Yeah. Basically. Yeah. Basically. But he was into really smart, and with the Mind Stone, Vision was very smart, too. Mm-hmm. With the Mind Stone, I think the diabolicalness and, mm-hmm. and the Mind Stone together just made him super powerful, can defeat Thanos. The only reason that Ultron was stopped is because even for all his intelligence, he just lacked experience. Mm. Um, he did still have some root of emotion because he cared about Wanda and Quicksilver. Right. But, yeah. Um... I didn't write anything down for that. I was just on this acid trip. That was yeah. <laughs> so it was party, party Thor, Thor party boy. So yeah. so what what do you think about Loki made Thor more responsible when yeah. he grew growing up with Loki? And also, I do remember um, remember Thor got sent to Earth because he he partied too hard. Mm-hmm. Was it partying too hard? That was his like. What was his downfall? Because he he lost his powers and lost his ability to wield the. The, yeah. the, the hammer he was and was sent as a punishment to earth he attacked the ice giants by himself I believe uh, was that it? I don't know if that was it but I remember he did attack the ice giants by himself I thought he was just um, reckless or irresponsible to some degree and he's like get down there well to be honest I don't know if he was more responsible with Loki around. That's what I'm trying to think because I was remembering that happening I was like I'm pretty sure it was like some sort of irresponsibility that he got punished for like he was being you know, immature. Mm-hmm. He was being haughty and yeah. whatever. The main difference here is just that he, I think, instead of staying around Asgard and hanging out with his friends there without Loki having to be his brother, he just went he out. He went to out find to people. find friends, yeah. Mm. Maybe. Mm. Because a lot of those people that we've seen from other episodes, you know. Yeah. Like, why would they have known Thor? Mm-hmm. Maybe Thor goes around the galaxy a lot. Yeah. yeah, that makes sense. Party of the galaxy who destroyed a planet. <laughs> and also, of course, a lot of it's just sus- suspension of disbelief. I don't know if I can narrow down a key difference between this Thor and movie Thor, aside from... I don't know. <laughs> I, I don't know if I can narrow one down. Yeah, the only thing that um, that really popped out to me from this episode is Hill is so aggressive. Yeah, <laughs> yeah that's 
that's him. In the in the comics, in the games, everything. Yeah. Fury just... is the charismatic leader who people fall in out of respect and loyalty to him. Where Hill is, she's a soldier and she expects everybody under her to be a soldier. Mm-hmm. You do this because it's what we do. If there's a threat, you destroy it. She's she's a soldier. Whenever Maria Hill came into power, she was always so forceful. She alienated a lot of elements of Shield that mm-hmm. even people that. She, I don't you know even know if she would necessarily like Captain Marvel that much because her thing is she needs to be in control of everything. Yeah. Because anything that's not under control is a threat. Yeah. Mm. Whereas Fury, Fury can deal with somebody who can kill him at any moment, be around him, so long as he knows he can talk to him and be diplomatic with him. You know. Yeah. But you know that that part that you pointed out of, about the threats that she doesn't like it would explain why she wanted to nuke him even though Marvel was supposed to be fighting him. Yeah. yeah. She was like, no, I want to do- make sure this is taken care of. I'm going to do it my way. Even yeah. though she's technically able. Yeah. She would hurt Marvel a lot, probably. She, but yeah. Marvel, Marvel wouldn't die. Probably. She wouldn't die, but she'd be okay. That's why she's like, she'll be fine. Mm. But yeah, that would explain that. But I mean, let's think about it, right? They were willing to put a crater in Siberia. Mm. Yeah. Siberia. I mean, like a different country. A different country. To like, nuke a different country. Yeah. I mean, like, she'll technically has oversight over everyone on the planet. But still, like... It's a it's a part of you know even Captain Marvel she's not perfect she she is also a soldier and she sees threat destroyed greater good mm. even if the good the people who are part of that greater good don't agree it's like no it's it's good for you we'll mm. do it you know mm-hmm. yeah that's so I, I like that they kept that part of her character in yeah. that yeah it's not necessarily a great thing to do but she would do that mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. I have to say I I didn't see the problem with Thor. Until they started destroying things, which was after they decided to kill him. Yeah, I was like, "What is? Why are they being so aggressive? Yeah. Like, I mean, I don't know. It, it, so parties were popping up all over the globe. Okay, <laughs> the party is spreading. We have to stop this fun yeah. immediately. Right? It was it was really ridiculous. So I, I thought the the whole show was gonna be just comical in that way, mm-hmm. but then it started getting more serious. I, that like, when oh, he said the party is spreading, I thought it was gonna be a joke episode as well. Yeah, yeah. I mean, Howard married Darcy for pizza. Yes, what was that about? <laughs> yeah, um, but the thing is, um, I think it was less to do with actual facts. It was a party and more. It's like, this aliens the, that alien we have kept away. All the aliens are coming onto the planet. Mm. They're taking over society. They're not listening to, like, regu- like regular society has halted. Mm-hmm. And they're just doing whatever they want. Oh, uh, yeah. So they're worried about that. And, you know, you don't know what it is. It's taking over society. It's a threat. True. Mm. But... Uh, of course, we did eventually see they were causing actual harm. Yeah, yeah. they were just to some things. degree, but they blew out a power grid. But still, I I did think it was rather Captain Marvel. She barely tried to speak to Thor. No, mm. she didn't at all. She's not like you're causing some problems. We need you to. She just like get out. Yeah, and she attacked him first. Yes. Yeah, yeah. So I wrote that down like super antagonistic. I mean, yeah, they did need to call his mom and all that, but. I think they could have had a conversation with him if they yeah. tried more. Yes, they did show that he has lack of attention span yeah. for anything that has nothing to do with the party. But I, I, it, it would be better to try and fail than to just attack him and then nuke the planet. Yeah. You know? Yeah, yeah that's all I have. Mm-hmm. Oh, I guess the one other thing is um, I was happy to find out that the planet he destroyed mm-hmm. was just a meteor. Mm-hmm. Like he was explaining to Jane. At first, it's like, is he just saying that? But no, I think he was being honest. Like, no, mm-hmm. it was just like there were no people there. <laughs> yeah, I was, I was waiting for that twist. Of, yeah, yeah, like, I thought it was going to say, evil. Yeah, yeah, but no, it was, it, he really isn't like, I thought it would have been like, yeah, he, he is actually doesn't care and, and will destroy the place. Yeah. No, he, he was partying, just yeah. partying, just having fun. They were just <laughs> on a meteor, the meteor blew up eventually. Yeah, mm-hmm. it doesn't really matter. Yeah, a lot so, of yeah. meteors. Uh, I overall like this episode, and I think, uh, I think other people will enjoy it too. Yeah. Maybe like a, a nice break from better. the seriousness yeah. in the past. Mm-hmm. Yeah. This is the kind of shows that I was hoping for. I like themes like this. I, I hope they do more of this going forward. I liked all the episodes really so far. I don't think I disliked any episode. Mm-hmm. I just like elements of episodes. But yeah, this funny nature, they're doing something crazy, zany. Interesting. Mm-hmm. I liked it. Yeah. yeah. Same. Yeah. All right. I think that's it so guys thank you very much for being here guys if you like your time here please leave a like and subscribe if you want to see more remember to check out patreon in the description if you just want to help us out or you want to see an episode ahead of any show that we watch we'll see you guys next time at react back Bye-bye. bye oh bye and special thanks to dirty old man to Wordmaster, wordmaster cc flips and diego